Kung meron kang lumang TV kagaya nito, alam mo bang kaya mo siyang i-upgrade using a Google Chromecast? Manood ng YouTube at Netflix sa ganitong TV. Stick around. This is an old model LED TV from way back. Hi there. So this is not a review of this television. It's a video of how you can make most of these televisions. I probably list down some of the ways kung paano mo maximize. But uh, focus on installing a Google Chromecast para sa TV na to. So this is what uh, your typical TV looks like from the back. Uh, hindi naman ito masyadong nagbago kahit you have uh, newer models now. So you, you also have your USB input. If you have media na kung gusto mong panawal sa television, it's still there. Yeah, if you want your audio na pumunta sa isang subwoofer or amplifier, if you have a separate one, if you're not content with the quality of the speakers, no. Going further dun sa mga inputs, you have your antenna input. If you have an aerial antenna, digital box would go into the uh, HDMI. Part. And then this is your uh, composite component input. And then you have several HDMI. At hindi lang yan, meron din siyang VGA in. So, pwede mo siyang gamitin as your, your PC monitor. So, kung nalilitan ka dun sa monitor or display ng laptop mo, at meron naman VGA out ng laptop mo, you can use this kinds of old TV. So, that's another use sa mga ganitong lumang TV. So, the thing is, uh, why am I making this video? So, not all of us, kahit tumingin ka siguro dyan sa labas, sa mga bubong ng mga kapitbahay, so, very limited na yung gumagamit ng aerial antenna. Uh, you know why? Kasi nga, digital na ang uh, pananood ng mga tao. So, a lot of people would have yung uh, ABS-CBN TV Plus to receive digital uh, content. This unit comes straight off the, the wall, kaya hindi ko na masyadong nalinis. So, this is the back of your TV which pretty much looks like your newer versions of television. Mm -hmm. So, ano yung gagawin na natin? Kukunin na natin ang Google Chromecast from the box. Okay. So, I've been using this for presentation purposes. Uh, binali ko lang ulit sa box. <laughs> Alright. So, eto. This is an older version. Uh, I used to have the old version and in fact, my parents are still using it sa kanilang TV ngayon. They have a, a Sony television. Uh, I think that television has YouTube, but for some reason, dahil hindi siya Android TV, hindi napapagana lahat. So, uh, I gave them my old uh, Google Chromecast. Okay, sobrang simple yung design. In fact, meron pa nga siya dyan. Magnet. This is magnetic. Kapit pa nga siya dyan eh. Uh, if you're not using it, maybe that's how you put it back. Siyempre, meron kang uh, micro USB cable. Yeah, it's that old. Hindi pa siya type C. So, what do we do now? Assemble din na natin to. This one needs power. I had to put it down because wall mounted itong television ko. At mahirap uh, abutin yung mga likod. You can't uh, clearly see what's happening uh, at the back. So, tinanggal ko siya. Ngayon, ito na yung tsura niya ng ating assembled na Google Chromecast. It's a revolutionary product na hindi naman, hindi marami nakakaalam. Uh, in fact, uh, kasi nagsabay na rin siya with some televisions na naging smart TV na. Uh, some televisions kasi may kasama na kagad na YouTube and Netflix and other uh, video platforms. Because I used to have a uh, 39 inch television na it was built in with a uh, YouTube and uh, Netflix pero hindi ko siya talaga mapagana with mobile internet. I mean the, the internet was fairly decent naman or uh, at least at the very least usable at 1, 2 Mbps or maybe 3. Sometimes it spikes up to 6 uh, but uh, for some reason the servers of this, these providers, Netflix and YouTube, won't uh, let you uh, stream through the television. So, for a while, hindi ko talaga nagamit yun. Uh, when I moved, uh, doon ko lang nagamit siya when I uh, finally got hold of a wired internet. Now, okay, back to the Chromecast. So, ito, this will provide you with that. So, if you have a television na hindi smart TV, Android TV, uh, you don't have any other boxes na to stream your uh, entertainment, 
eto na yung solution for that. So, ilalagay mo ngayon siya sa HDMI and then you have the USB. Uh, ito, pwede mo siyang idiretso if you want to use a separate power supply. Kaya lang hassle kasi isa pa siya sa isasaksak mo. So, AC outlet, di ba? So, ano ang ginagawa ko pag kaganto? So, any HDMI will do. HD, any HDMI outlet will do. So, let's pick the HDMI one. There you go. And then, your power, kasi kailangan talaga ng power. Hindi gagana yan pagka walang power. I get it from the USB outlet of this television. So, mangyayari, mabubuhay lang siya kapag buhay lang yung television din. Kasi yun lang naman yung panahon na kailangan mo talaga siya, diba? So, when you turn off the television, no need to unplug this uh, kasi automatic power off na rin siya. Okay. So, kumpleto na siya, pero how do you now control that? Mamaya malalaman natin. Because you can see, you do not have any remote controls. You do not even have any buttons. So, you can see here, wala, walang buttons yan na pipindutin ka or anything. Okay? You just have this LED indicator light. It's a gilid. Ay, sorry. We do have a button here. This but, one, okay. You don't use it for power. Kasi pagka tinurn on mo na to, television, with this power supply, on na kagad ito eh. I think you use this for reset. Sorry, I'm one of those who don't use <laughs> to read the manuals. But I've uh, used this to reset. So, ngayon, mounted na ang ating television. You can see the Google Chromecast is back there. Okay, so hindi naman siya na-stress yung mga wiring set because this device is really very light. Ayan yung kanyang USB cable that runs to the power uh, of this television itself. Okay, so let's power it on. Yeah, as you can see, papasok ka agad sa Google Chrome. Now, for the purpose of this uh, this video, ang gagawin natin yan, i-reset natin. So, as, as I mentioned before, makagamit natin ngayon yung reset button here. Okay. So, we will now see if this button will just reset this uh, Google Chromecast. Or kung, i-reboot lang niya. So, how do you use uh, reset buttons? You long press them. Google Chromecast. So, as you can see now, it's just restarting. No need to go to the manuals. It's actually a factory reset. So when you long press it, there you go. So what will happen now is factory reset. And uh, I believe may mga updates siya once in a while. And hopefully naman hindi nabura yung mga updates because it'll take some while para to ma download lahat ng mga updates. Because I remember before I had to wait a little. Google Chromecast. Okay, so here we are now at the setup. So but before we go and dive into the setup of this Google Chromecast, pakita ko lang sa inyo itong television again. So this is an old uh, television, probably uh, 13, 14 years old. Uh, it's more than a decade with me. Uh, it's a 32-inch television. Okay, so ano alaman na itong television na to? So inputs, you have your typical inputs. You have your TV, uh, AV component, composite uh, input, HDMI 1, 2, 3, VGA, and your USB. So ito tayo sa menu, just to show you that this is not a smart TV. I want to show you that this is not a smart TV. This is your remote control. So, what do you see here? Okay. CCD, MTS, uh, wala talaga, di ba? So, let's now go into the setup process of the Google. Okay. Ang kailangan natin gawin is first download the Google Home app. The Google Home app. So you go here. Google Home. So yun nakita mo na yung ganyang uh, uh, icon. The Google Home app. Download that one. Ayan na po. Install na ang ating Google Home app adding Android phone and it also works with iOS. Google Chromecast. Okay, so get started. Then you pick the an account. So you activate the Google Chrome. So in this case, let's click my main account. So choose a home. Meaning if you have, I don't know, multiple homes, you probably have different entries here. So, one is naman, probably set up one. And then there you go. So location access. Location. So kailangan masang e-grant. And then kailangan siya yung to access your Wi-Fi. So it says here. Turn on the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is needed to discover and set up nearby devices. So 
In this case, uh, kailangan mo na talaga umaccess sa Wi-Fi. So, Chromecast found. Would you like to set up Chromecast for 193 and then verify it with your television? It says here it's a Chromecast for 193. I see television ko ngayon. It says there 4193. It's a match. So, otherwise, you do click yung nasa baba, set up a different device. See the code in your TV, seeing a 6R3, let you know you're connected to the right Chromecast. So, again, visually, I see it, A6R3, it's a match, so we go and say yes. Where is this device? So, if you have a big house, and a metal attic, backyard, basement, bathroom, bedroom, then dining room, entryway, so keep it in mo siya. So, kahit nasa kwarto lang siya, I'd like to say it's in the attic. So, click attic. Say next. Okay, it will ask you now. Use the same password that the Google Chrome app can automatically get your Wi-Fi password from the Wi-Fi or the hotspot from this phone or tablet. So, dahil nakasave na siya dun sa phone, yun, uh, pwede niyang i-adopt yun. Finish setup in the home app, then get to know your device. So, uh, if you want to know the functionalities of the device, dito mo talaga siya magagawa sa Google Home app. The television actually now is showing some screen savers. So, so there you go. Now you see, this is your home setup and you have here your available cast devices. So in this case, we have the so setup kanina, the Attic TV, which is the Google Chromecast dun sa ating prestige na television. Google Chromecast. You can actually cast your own screen as a mirror. So, if your screen is already cast like that, probably do gaming. Okay, I'm just not sure about the speed, what you can do. Okay, and it's actually showing this television here. Yeah. So you can you can cast your screen, your uh, gaming, sa yung television. That's one thing you can do. So yan po ang laman na ating device settings. Um, the language, of course, there's English. So for media, click mo lang yung media. So manage your system. Um, if you have music, podcasts, let's start with podcasts. So with podcasts, ano ba ang apps na pwede mag-podcast? Siyempre, Spotify is there. So, and then yung Google Podcast is also there. So, Google Chromecast. So, on the iPhone, it now says Attic TV, but on the TV, nothing is showing yet. So there you go. Yeah, naka, naka, naka broadcast na tayo sa TV, yung Chromecast. So, so if you have a good speaker sa so television mo, or if it's connected to a subwoofer or a system that you have. Um, when it comes to videos, uh, Google Chromecast. So again, so UFC. I can now use this with Google Chromecast. So just tap on that. Since connected na talaga lahat, the UFC app sees that it's connected. So now you can cast it to a Chromecast. What will happen now with your TV is it will now try to cast your app in UFC. There you go. So it's now see ready to cast. So on your phone, what you do is just pick a video that you want. Kana, so, there you go. It's now showing in your bigger screen. It's not the best screen that you have, but since uh, it's a spare TV or probably TV, you know, it's a public guy. Google Chromecast. Siyempre, let's try it. So for YouTube, since this is a Google app, mas madali na to and I'm sure Mas madali siyang kumunekta sa post niya. Parang continuation siya. Let's pause it a while and then, yeah, click to add TV. So, again, you don't, have in, you don't have any remote for the Google Chromecast because your remote is your phone. Pero pag nag-start ko naman na yung video or movie, di ba? Nandyan na siya eh. So, you watch it for what? 30 minutes, 1 hour, 2 hours. So, so sa simula mo na naman siya kailangan i-set up eh. So, ito, medyo, it's taking a while. 
uh, ang pinaka culprit dito is the internet connection but uh, as you can see here so still also playing that and my, my internet connection is just a mobile internet so you'd expect this to work better Google Chromecast. Ang option naman na ipapakita ko ngayon kung gusto mo kumuha nitong Google Chromecast is yung marketplace na na. Yung price range nito, syempre, medyo malawak because some are old stock or used items. Some are new naman, sealed daw. So, yung, in this example, it is, this is just 490 pesos. Uh, again, I do not guarantee the authenticity. So, it's just between you and the seller kung paano nyo malalaman if it's authentic. So, this is uh, quite simple. Pero ito yung ano, uh, parang medyo bago-bago na ito na version ng uh, Google Chromecast. Pero mura siya. It's just 490 pesos. So, same with this one. Ito medyo 1,000 pesos binibenta. I don't know. Hindi ako expert doon sa versions niya. This is 550 pesos. Of course, this is marketplace. So, hindi control that pressure dito. This one. Ito yung kamukhang-kamukha ng ating kinakabit ngayon sa television. So, LED TV natin. So, um, this is generation 2 nakalagay G2 so this is for 650 pesos lang so imagine if you have an old television LED TV na um, hindi mo na nagagamit because you want your Netflix right there diba? right here right now diba? so hindi mo na siya nagagamit so ito yung solution for that Google Chromecast so may 3,495 kasi ito talaga yung mga bago na even comes with a remote control if you're looking for a 4K or 8K quality syempre hindi naman kaya ilabas ang television mo so might as well uh, go for the HD version Google Chromecast pero ano pa ba yung alternative natin sa Chromecast uh, meron tayong mga tinatawag na Android TV box ito ay uh, medyo versatile siya kasi multimedia player na rin siya Meron siyang USB port. For example, ito. Uh, this, this is one of my favorites from Mi Box. I tried one of these before. Ang maganda sa kanya. Uh, meron siyang remote control. And then the interface is really good. Ano naman ang price range nitong mga TV box na to? So medyo, ano rin, malawak din. So from 800 to 850. These are one of the most popular to MXQ Pro TV box. Um, medyo maganda na rin kasi yung software niya. I tried one of these before. Mabagal pa talaga before. Hindi ako talaga na-satisfied. And, ang gamit kasi niya is a uh, remote control lang na medyo, yun, yun ang gagamitin mo to browse through the system. Nakakainip. <laughs> Siyempre, gagalaw, gagalawin mo yung parang mouse niya or the cursor around. Medyo matagal talaga siyang pagalawin. Pero mura siya at 750 pesos. And then, later on, found out na pwede pala siyang nagyan ng keyboard. And yun nga lang, as compared sa Google Chromecast, ang dami ng ilalagay mo. May power supply pa yan. And then, the HDMI cable. And then, kung maglalagay ka pa nga ng keyboard or mouse, ang dami nang nakalagay. Otherwise, doon ka lang sa remote control. But this is based on Android. So, pwede mo siyang lagyan ng apps. And again, it's a multimedia player. The USB port works. May tayo dito sa Mi Box, Android uh, box na to. Simpleng-simple yung design, yung curve niya na design. Meron siyang remote control na. Sobrang simplistic na. And then the cursor is there. Ito yung sinasabi ko na sample. Ito nakabundle na yung Bluetooth sa uh, keyboard niya. Ang maganda, meron na siyang parang cursor dun sa ibabaw. Mabilis na siyang igalaw through the Google Chromecast. But what if you're in the Apple ecosystem, di ba? So kung ayaw mo lumabas dun sa ecosystem ng Apple, syempre meron ding available for iOS or Apple users. So, ito medyo mataas na nga lang talaga ang price range nito. So, 5,000 pesos itong unang-una natin nakita sa marketplace. Merong 8,000 pesos pero nakalagay it's 4K. Again, not an expert yung mga versions ng Apple TV. So, meron naman 2,500 na nakalagay din dyan. Uh, it's a third generation. Okay, this one, 5,000 pesos comes with uh, the remote and uh, box. So, ano yung kamukha nito? Kung maalala natin kanina, yung uh, Mi Box, di ba? Kapareho ko pareho ng kanyang uh, profile, di ba? So, meron siyang uh, squarish na box, pero yung sa Mi is rounded. This one is medyo may mga kanto. And then, yung controller ko napansin ninyo, halos pareho yung itsura niya. So, ano lang gusto ko sabihin? If you're in iOS, Apple, or Android, meron ka alternative for this um, TV box to upgrade your old televisions into something na modern. Google Chromecast Ang mga pwedeng gawin sa mga LCD or LED TV kagaya nito, number one, pwede siyang PC monitor via the VGA port or the HDMI kung ano man available. Number two, as a gaming TV, 
for consoles. Kung di ka particular sa highest quality audio and video, you can play it here. Or gamitin mo siya as a digital picture frame. Just use a USB kung saan nakasave ang mga pictures mo and you can slideshow your pictures here. Or, itong ginawa nga natin, turn it into a smart TV using a Google Chromecast or any Chromecast alternative. Sana may natutunan tayong bago sa video na ito and uh, hopefully na-entertain din kayo. Don't forget to like, dislike, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned and I'll see you around.